Let's take a look at an aerial ambush set up by Triple Ace General Robin Olds. Operation Bolo. The year is 1967. The Vietnam War is in full swing and an aggressive aerial bombing campaign known as Rolling Thunder is underway. Rolling Thunder is meant to bring the communist North Vietnamese government to the negotiating table. However, the American forces are suffering devastating losses, with over 500 aircraft lost in 1966 alone. SAM sites and AAA are bringing down aircraft at an alarming rate, and now the North Vietnamese have a new potent weapon, the MiG-21 Fishbed. A Mach 2 interceptor, the MiG-21 is ideal for the role it plays, a fast hit-and-run ambusher. Bomb-laden F-105 Thunder Chiefs or THUDs are no match for the MiG-21. THUD pilots have to either dump their bombs and fight, or press on to their targets as sitting ducks. To counter this new threat, then Colonel Robin Olds comes up with a daring plan. Set an ambush for the MiG-21s and lure them into a fight they don't want. Robin Olds is a World War II double ace with five victories in the P-38 Lightning and eight victories in the P-51 Mustang. He now commands the 8th Tactical Fighter Wing, also known as the Wolfpack, and flies the F-4 Phantom, America's premier fighter during the Vietnam War. Unlike the heavily loaded F-105s, the F-4 is a match for the MiG-21, despite highly restrictive rules of engagement. With only about 16 MiG-21s in theater, the MiG-21 is reserved for high-priority targets and typically do not engage the F-4s, preferring to go after the F-105s instead. The MiG-21s are directed to intercept flights of F-105s using ground-controlled approach radar. In order to set the trap, Colonel Olds decides to have his F-4s fly and behave like F-105s to fool the ground radar stations, along with flying at lower speeds and using the same bombing routes and radio frequencies the F-105s use. The F-4s are fitted with jamming pods that are typically carried by the F-105, the QRC-160. During this part of the war, the QRC-160 was in short supply and Olds had his source pods from all over Vietnam. On top of this, he was only given a window of seven days for their use. The plan and supplies were in place and Operation Bolo was ready to begin. Let's take a closer look at the two combatants, the F-4 and the MiG-21. The F-4 Phantom is a twin-engine, two-seat fighter-bomber originally developed as a fleet defender for the U.S. Navy. However, the F-4 proved to be versatile in many roles and was soon adopted by the U.S. Air Force and Marines. Here are some key specifications for the F-4C. Length, 58 feet 2 inches. Wingspan, 38 feet 5 inches. Height, 16 feet 6 inches. Engines, each General Electric J79 GE-15. Generate 17,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner. A maximum speed, 1,216 knots. Armament used during Operation Bolo, four AIM-7E Sparrows and four AIM-9B Sidewinders. Next, let's take a look at the MiG-21. The MiG-21 was designed as a high-speed interceptor and has become the most produced supersonic fighter in history. Codenamed Fishbed by NATO, the MiG-21's small airframe exhibits spectacular acceleration and turning capability. Here are some key specifications for the MiG-21 PF. Length, 44 feet 1 inch. Wingspan, 23 feet 5 inches. Height, 15 feet 9 inches. Engines, 1 Tumansky R11 F300 generating 13,490 pounds of thrust with afterburner. Maximum speed, 1,204 knots. Armament, used during Operation Bolo, two heat-seeking AA-2 Atoll missiles. The MiG-21 was about half the size of the Phantom, and at high altitude the MiG-21 could outfly the F-4 in most flight regimes. However, at low altitude, the F-4 could use its energy advantage in vertical maneuvers, offsetting the MiG's turning advantage. Furthermore, the MiG's delta wings would cause it to quickly lose energy in turns at low altitude. 
With planning, coordination, and aircraft in place, Operation Bolo began on January 2, 1967. To maintain maximum time over the target airfields, the flights of F-4s were divided into seven groups of four aircraft, each arriving five minutes apart. The flights were given call signs of American-made automobiles. In order, these were Olds, Ford, Rambler, Lincoln, Tempest, Plymouth, and Vespa. Colonel Olds was the lead in Olds' flight and was assigned call sign Olds 1. Olds flew his flight in formation and speeds that F-105 used, and as they approached the target area, turned on their QRC-160 pods. As the saying went back then, clean up, green up, and turn on the music. Upon arriving over the target area, there was an overcast cloud layer, and initially, there were no MiG-21s to be found. After performing a few 180-degree turns, and just as Ford flight was arriving on the scene, three MiG-21s appeared out of the cloud cover. Olds engaged the MiG-21, firing two sparrows and a sidewinder, none of which tracked. The early sparrows experienced many reliability issues, exacerbated by the tropical conditions of Vietnam. Olds II, flown by Ralph Wetterhan, spotted another MiG and fired two sparrow missiles, one which hit and scored the first victory of the battle. Olds I then sighted another MiG and used the Phantom's power advantage to perform a vector roll and get behind the MiG firing two Sidewinders, scoring the second victory of the battle. Meanwhile, Olds 4 saw a MiG tracking Olds 3 and obtained position behind the MiG. A missile lock was obtained and Olds 4 downed the MiG with a Sidewinder shot. By this time, Ford Flight was also heavily engaged. A MiG overshot Ford 3, Ford 4, and Ford 1. Ford 2 was able to get behind that MiG and score a victory using a Sidewinder. By this time, Rambler Flight was arriving on the scene. Rambler 1 obtained a lock and fired three sparrows. One connected and brought the fifth MiG down. During these maneuvers, Rambler 2 locked onto another MiG and fired two sparrows. One scored a hit with debris from the MiG slightly damaging Rambler 2. Six down. Rambler 4 carefully maneuvered into position behind yet another MiG and fired two sparrows. One connected. The seventh and final MiG was down. Apparently, by this time, the North Vietnamese had lost their appetite for the fight, losing almost half of their entire MiG-21 force in 13 minutes. The four remaining flights, Lincoln, Tempest, Plymouth, and Vespa, flew over the target area but were not engaged. Operation Bolo was a resounding success. Twelve F-4Cs engaged 14 MiG-21s, shooting down seven while sustaining no losses. And now, let's take a look at a reenactment of this famous battle using War Thunder. My good friend, the Scottish Koala, and his mates will fly both sides of this historic battle. All right, thank you, Tug, and hello, everyone. So we've got our troops lining up here in a fleet of 28 F-4C Phantom Twos. Actually, we don't quite have a full 28-man flight because I'm trying coordinating 40 people on Discord right now. But this should make things a little more even for our 12 MiGs. I believe we have around 24 Phantoms here on this uh, definitely Vietnam airbase, totally not Afghanistan, just for the purposes of today's video. Now, the MiGs we are using in this battle are going to be the MiG-21 F-13 variant, so not the exact same as the ones used in the engagement in 1967. Those would have been PFs, I believe, although the VPAF were still operating a ton of F-13s at this time, and it is definitely a close enough variant for us today. I think we do also have a J-7 over there, which is the Chinese variant of the F-13, uh, just to make up the numbers. So, we are going to be climbing up to around 30,000 feet after takeoff and heading over to the mountainous terrain over to the west, disguising ourselves as a fleet of F-105 fighter bombers. We are equipped with the AIM-9 Sidewinders. These are a very early variant, so not particularly effective against enemy fighters, but we also have the longer range AIM-7 Sparrows. And although the rules of engagement dictated in Vietnam that pilots had to visually identify contacts before firing on them, uh, we're going to be sort of foregoing that little caveat for today. We don't come equipped with a gun, and the MiGs will outturn us, so we do want to be keeping them out at arm's length. However, with a numbers advantage like this, we should be absolutely fine. Of course, in Operation Bolo, almost the entire flight of MiG-21s were destroyed for zero US losses, but uh, let's see how close we can manage here, or if these 21 pilots are a little more capable in this situation. So I'm going to take the right side. Uh, Kilwaro, you take left. Flaps out. 
and punching. See you guys in the sky. And up we go. This is a pretty sexy formation takeoff we got going on here. I like it. Alright, once you hit about 500 kilometers an hour, nosing over to the left. Honestly, if I was a guy, a Vietnamese pilot, and saw this many contrails, I would <laughs> just hop out of your plane, open yeah. up the cockpit, dive out. I'm going back to the bar. F you guys. There's like not enough munitions in all of North Vietnam to kill this many aircraft. Honestly, at that point, I would just commit seppuku. <laughs> Get out of your MiG-21, head over to the nearest SA-2 site, and just say, <laughs> "Good luck, boys." <laughs> Okay, I've got Tally 2 off to the left side behind. Turning in. Afterburner's on, radar's on. Let's start locking these guys up. Okay, two bandits off, uh, heading, uh, 110. One. Right, got a few more coming in. I'm gonna lock up the real guy. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, I see one back. Oh god, they're I here. Oh, he's a J-11. It's the J-7. Alright, I'm locking up this guy J behind. Fox 1. Didn't track. Oh, I see him. That Meg 21's diving. Alright, we've got a whole squadron coming in from behind as well. <laughs> Gonna try and lock one of these guys up. Fox 1. On with small I have a Fox 3. Someone spiked me. Fox 1. Yeah, That's one tracking. One. Splash one. Hey, there we go. Hey, nice, first kill. Alright, I'm pulling off to the left hand side. I'm gonna have a few MiGs trying to chase me out. Splash one. Very nice. Try and lock something. Beautiful, Make beautiful, beautiful. Going beautiful. For me. That okay, switching to sidewinders. <laughs> yeah, I was on it. I'm going for this guy. Oof! Splash! Good kill, good kill. Damn. Okay, I got this guy coming in close. Don't want to dive down just yet. I've got another Meg up. Pretty high altitude. I'm surprised we don't have a I think he is, yep. Fox one. Not tracking. Fox one. This Meg's too close now. Got one more high altitude. Here you go for Fox him. One. Fox one. Oh, we got one who's trying to come in uh, from flash, towards us. Okay, Fox one on the J7. Fox one on the J7. That's tracking. Oh right, I don't have. Gotcha. No, oh, no, awful. didn't track. Fox one on the dark game. I can see if I can pull any up for, uh, Box 1. track. I feel bad for the MiG-21s. Oh, these, the, these are all against the mountains, I can't track. Splash 1. Mm. 
Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm switching to side windows. I'm heading for these guys down. Look, Lost they're going to try and lead us yeah. down to the deck. Yeah. Oh, we have lost a phantom. He lost oh. one. Oh. We've lost two. Okay, I'm tracking two. this Meg 21 down low. Box two. Missile on you, oh, Sarki. No. I got a couple following me in. If you guys want to take him out. Seven got a phantom. I got one on. Where are you? Fox two. Uh -oh. Serpent's not nope. responding. Fucking Meg is so slow. Oh, I got it. Oh! Oh! Fuck you! Alright, Kilwaro, you wanna, you wanna pull oh, off to your right hand side? I'll oh, keep pulling around. I'm on my way. Okay, the Meg, Meg on you is cold. I'm coming back up. I'm gonna lead this guy out. Heading back towards the mountains. Underneath me, it's basically stalling. Maybe yeah, I'm diving on the J7. Oh, J7's dead. Okay. I've got one MiG-21 underneath me. I'm gonna pull off that. He's got another one behind him. Fox 2 on uh, Sloth. Oof. Not I'm good. going for this MiG-21, oh. screw me right in front of me. Fox 2 on him. Sandbox. Heads up, Sarkay, you got a missile right behind you. Sorry. Splashed. Hey, Three. Oh. I think, yes. Uh, one more. Fantastic. One more. Right, one last, one last. Okay, dive it on him. He'll go down eventually. Okay. One of these is bound to hit. Okay. Be careful not to smack yeah. into the ground here. We're getting very, very close to the central airfield here. Fox 2. Oh, negative track, oh, negative track. Oh, I have oh, one missile left, I believe. Yeah. And there he goes. Good yeah. shit, boys. Well done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, oh, it right, looks like we're clear. Everyone, right, had Everyone head back to base. I'll catch Three you at the bar for a beer, guys. Five well, wells, six losses, seven. Fantastic. Good shit. Well done. What do you think? Was Operation Bolo one of the greatest tactical exploits in history? Were the F-4 and MiG-21s a good match for each other? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, don't forget to check out the Scottish Koalas channel. He's got some great content that I think you'll enjoy. Be sure to tell him Tog sent you. Stay safe and see you next time.